Welcome back to TRL. I'm here with the legend. Jay Prince is here, y'all. You know, a lot of people didn't understand the move that, that you chose to make when you ended the beef between Pusha T and Drake, you know, because a lot of folks will argue that, well, that's a part of hip-hop culture, and we all know that both of them are capable MCs. They're both hyenas, right, you know. Right. Um, Drake could have easily came back, you know. That's why I think people were waiting for, anticipating. Right. Um, since then, man, is everybody happy with the decision? Is he is he happy with the decision still? Yeah, 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 he definitely happy. You know, we, we know that was the right decision because it was a decision uh, where they crossed the line where music was concerned. And uh, we don't have no regrets about uh, living in peace. What does he feel about the naysayers, the people that's gonna question his credibility as an MC? You know, Drake is wise enough and sharp enough to know who he is, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? He know his abilities, he know what he could do, and he willing to live with the decision he made on not getting in the pig pen. Okay. Did he see the interview that you and I did on Sway in the Morning? Oh, yeah. Loved yeah. it. He loved it? Yeah, loved it. Okay, so I want to personally invite Drake uh, to come here on TRL. And I'm going to deliver that message. Okay, and then after that, we'll do Sway in the Morning, too. There it is. You deliver that message <laughs> for me, Jay? One love. Okay. Hell, oh, man, that's the art and science of respect right there, man. All right. I know he's a man of his word. Now, recently, yeah. Twitter blew up. I don't know if you was watching this, Jay Prince, because the comedian Roy Wood Jr., that's my homie, too, he went on Twitter and he tweeted about the time he tried to prank call you. He mm. tried to prank call Jay Prince, and you weren't having none of it. Mm. And, uh, man, people have been talking about that all online, man, so I got a hold of Roy. I got him on the phone right now, and he wants to make sure that things are cool, and he want to be able to come back to Houston, bro. All right, Roy, are you there, man? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Roy, Roy Wood is here, man. Roy Wood is here. Let me just say, Mr. Mr. Prince, I apologize profusely, and I have ordered three copies of The Art of Science of Respect. My man, my man. I, I accept that, Roy. I think you caught me on a bad day or something, man. I, I didn't mean no harm. <laughs> <laughs> so Sway, this is what went down, man. This is this is this is take you back 06. This is long before the Daily Show. Okay. So I'm still just working and grinding in Birmingham. I'm doing these prank calls, right? Mm hmm And so a record label in Houston called me up. They go, yo, come to Houston. We're gonna put you in the studio. We're gonna do a prank call album where all we do is prank call celebrities. And so we set up a hit list of celebs we was going to get. I flew into town like noon, touched down straight to the studio. First person we decided to call is Jay Prince. Now, like you've heard prank calls before, Sway. The, the prank is pretty basic, right? Yeah. Hey, I'm going to come beat you up. Well, come beat me. I love to see you come beat me up. Come beat me up. Well, I'm going to beat you. And that's all you do is argue, right? Yeah. I called Jay Prince. I said, hey, Jay, I run a record store in town. And the albums you're giving me ain't selling. I ain't making no money. I need you to come pay my rent before I whoop your ass. Jay Prince didn't respond at all for like eight seconds. You ever hear that silence on the phone when you know you're in trouble? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is all he said. Where you at? <laughs> Calm, calculated. Where you at? And I tried to keep the prank going. I go, nah, nah. Don't worry about it. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, man, I don't talk no business over no phone. Where you at? <laughs> and so you, you, it you, got so scary in yeah. the studio. And this is for real. The audio engineer is shook. He didn't hit stop on the record uh -huh. at this point because he already know it ain't funny no more. And he jumps on the phone. He goes, hey, Jay, uh, it's us. Uh, we were just doing a prank, and that's Roy. He's a comedian. Uh, we were just playing a prank. Sorry, sorry to bother you. Jay Prince, or somebody in the car with Jay. May not have been Jay, but somebody yeah. in the car go, Oh, I know where they at. Turn the car around. <laughs> and what you do, Roy, at that point? You saw the way LeBron walked out that press conference after game two? <laughs> yeah. When he got he got his little he got his little man bag, put his glasses on, and just shuffled on to the door. Yeah. Real talk, I was supposed to be in Houston for four days. I went 
back to the airport and got a same day standby ticket and took my ass back to Birmingham. I wasn't about to be sitting in no music studio waiting for Jay Prince or anybody on the behalf of Jay Prince to have a conversation with me about no damn record store that don't even exist. Well, Jay, you remember this? Yeah, y'all weren't gonna do no more laugh with him. I just wanted to laugh with him. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> in, in, in person. Yeah, hey, you wanna laugh in person? Okay, <laughs> if, if, if that, whatever you say. All I know, Slay, is that somebody said they on the way to where you are, and yeah. they ain't like, you gotta understand, <laughs> The way Jay Prince is talking now, that's how he was talking on the phone, and I never heard that. I done done 800 yeah. print calls. I ain't never had nobody just take a deep breath and just go, Wow, where you at? Wow, Roy Wood Jr., y'all. Give this man a round of applause, man. Oh, hey, man. hey, thanks for calling in, man. And, hey, so I just squashed the beat for you, okay, Roy? Does this mean I can go back to Houston now, Mr. Prince? Yeah, we're good, Roy. We're good, man. Yeah, man. Roy could come back to Houston, okay? <laughs> Roy Wood, man. Thanks for calling in. You can check him out on The Daily Show with Trevor Noah, one of the greatest on TV.